Good morning, B Chain family. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video. Go ahead and do all the things that the algorithm likes. Thank you so much to our wonderful Patreon subscribers, Kathy V. All for LLC, Crack and Fruits, Dead, Maryland for Crypto, and VET Docky. Let's get the show started, guys. We got Elon Musk here. As you guys know, crypto's been pumping a little bit. Um, nothing really too insane. It looks like it's coming back down, but. Over the past couple of days has been pumping a little bit. Number of factors. One, Elon Musk who's closer to crypto payments with a new state license. So if you guys don't know, uh, Twitter hopefully is going to be used uh, for currency transmission, being able to purchase things with crypto on the X platform. So Rhode Island regulators have granted X a currency transmitter license making a step forward for the company's foray into the financial services sector this license is legally required for companies conducting financial activities on the behalf of users related to sending and receiving money so as we can see here it looks like it was approved on august 28th This move marks the important step forward in Elon Musk's push for X to become an everything app, which would include crypto and fiat payments. So what, what he's trying to do is trying to make X into something like uh, WeChat in China. If you guys don't know what WeChat is, pretty much WeChat is an all-in-one app. You can, you know, interact with your friends. You can post things. You can buy things with the app you can store money on the app you can buy whatever you want on the app you can um uh, get an uber on the app pretty much everything on wechat you can use and it's all in one app so that's what elon musk is trying to do with x um so yeah they've uh they've gotten money transfer licenses and a number of states it remains unclear exactly what financial offerings will be made available if and when X rolls out payment features um, they will initially offer fiat currency transactions uh, with room for future crypto integration so that's pretty awesome um, and also uh, I believe grayscale won their case with the SEC so hopefully soon there will be a spot etf for retail investors to invest in thus boosting the price of crypto so that's why we had that pump yesterday um and it's good to see shout out to elon let's go ahead and move on guys to the vcha news well not quite yet it looks like we got some uh some bull run news here now they're saying that the bull run's coming soon. I don't know about that. We still got a couple hundred days left until the next block having, And then I think about 100 days after that, we'll see uh, a tiny bull run and then a massive one. So <clears throat> I think we got about a year, maybe even a year and a half before the next bull run occurs. So that's just my opinion. I, I, don't, I don't really know for sure. I'm not a fortune teller. If I was, I probably wouldn't be making videos on YouTube. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Comment down below. When do you guys think the bubble run is going to occur? Let's take a look at this video. Talk about uh, the, the spot ETF. Obviously, if a spot ETF occurs, that's going to give a decent size boost to Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin gets boosted, we already know that altcoins will be boosted alongside of it. I don't think it's going to have a major, major um, effect on the price right now. But as you know, more and more people diversify and it becomes more and more legitimized, we can see long-term effects of Bitcoin um, going. Now, what, what is a spot ETF? What is that? Pretty much Grayscale and other companies are filing to... Pretty much they're going to buy up a bunch of crypto, fractionalize it, and then um, sell shares of that ETF 
on the stock market. Okay, so kind of like what ETFs you have now, they're pretty much a basket of companies in a portfolio that you could invest in in order to diversify your uh, your portfolio. Um, a spot ETF pretty much means that retail investors, quote unquote, poor people <laughs> can invest in uh, this ETF on the open market. So let's take a look, guys. Let's take a listen and see what they have to say. And I can't hear anything. Give me one sec. Grayscale. Remember, it has been fighting the SEC's decision, and now it has uh, the courts in there. Favor. If you look at the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, this is the main entity that would face a conversion. This is one of the longest standing, largest trusts holding Bitcoin in which retail and institutional investors have been able to gain exposure for many, many years now. You are looking at that discount to net asset value really narrowing here. Very, at this very moment, it stands at uh, about 24% under its net asset value, but uh, that is expected to narrow as they get closer to the ETF conversion, which has really become a main thesis for investing in this fund and beyond that is as you're saying there is a whole host mm -hmm. of other ETF filings in the pipeline and this is boding well for those firms I will also say that in addition to the grayscale Bitcoin trust finding uh, some love on the heels of this decision you are also seeing Bitcoin itself up above 27,000 it's a uh, four almost five percent jump in the market right now because the idea here is that by a potential conversion here for the grayscale Bitcoin trust into an ETF, it could draw massive adoption from financial advisors, retail investors. Think about how much money on the sidelines uh, could be sitting there from the likes of the large wirehouses that could become more comfortable about putting their clients into a regulated ETF mm -hmm. exposed to Bitcoin rather than spot Bitcoin itself. As Danny was talking about in terms of the pipeline, though, I mean, does this mean the SEC is like, well, all right, fine, you all get it? Or they're still going to be case by case basis? And is Grayscale then different? That is the massive question here, the order, because we have have seen from the other products out there linked to cryptocurrencies, the first ones out of the gate have had massive adoption mm -hmm. by a landslide. So first out of the gate matters a lot. There's a lot of discussion about how the SEC handles this pipeline because the idea here is not to make the same mistakes as we've seen in prior products where the first ones out of the gate got a lot of inflows and then the other products tend to lag behind. The idea here is choice and investor protection partially means also choice for so there you go, guys. Uh, that's the big news here in the industry. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. All right, now on to some VTA news. Not a whole lot of news today, guys. Um, I don't make the news, so don't get mad at me. <laughs> um, looks like we got another uh, collaboration here, VChain and Introverse. Decided to embrace VChain official with our Galaxy ecosystem and onboard VChain products within the next NFT World Cup. Huge thank you to NFT, to World of the Art for supporting the achievement of this integration. So this is pretty cool. Here's what Introverse is. Open, collaborative, open metaverse for NFT projects to engage communities through NFTs, avatarization, and 3D games competition. So yeah, pretty cool, guys. Uh, they're working with VChain now. So let me know what you guys think. Alrighty, 229 days left to the next Bitcoin block having, and as we talked about earlier, some of the gains from yesterday are going down. We don't know how far it's going to go down. Are we going to lose all the gains? Are we going to, um, you know, we, we don't know. But uh, just a healthy pullback. I mean, we're still in the bear market, so can't really expect too much. Um, the only thing we could do is survive, guys. That's it. If you could survive and not, you know, completely just sell out of everything and hodl, you'll be all right. Um, crypto's not going anywhere. Crypto was supposed to be dead, you know, in 2021. It was supposed to be dead in 2022. It was supposed to be dead in 2023. Even though we have hostile SEC regulation, mm -hmm. it's still not dead. So... We're here to stay. Trillion dollar market's not going anywhere, guys. Let's keep chopping wood. I love you all so much. Join the Patreon down below. I'll talk to you later with the Cardano updates. Have an amazing day. Goodbye.